Okay, tonight I want to talk about the evaluation order of a select statement. This is how SQL um, parses out, figures out what to do first. Um, it always goes step one uh, to the table, which table we're going to be getting our data from. Um, after that, step two is narrowing down uh, what rows we're going to need. So step two is just the where clause. Um, step three, we group by and this is breaking uh, our, our big data set that we retrieved down into smaller groups. Um, now at this point we haven't evaluated any of our aggregations so when we get to step four, our having clause, and I've got this other one commented out so let's um, let's go ahead and comment the good one out and then run this and we'll see that it doesn't know what to make of uh, the alias we used, count for one of our aggregations count thing name and it's because that simply hasn't been processed yet um, so let's see we just done our group buys we're doing our having that narrows down which groups we're going to include um, now now we jump back up to step five which is where the the select statement is actually processed and expressions including aggregations are processed now after this um, SQL's the it's going to know what you're talking about when you refer, for example, to an alias like count, and you can in step six, um, if you want to refer to that, and you'll be able to order by that alias or anything else in your select statement. So there you go, quick little um, thing there on uh, evaluation order. For more on that, uh, you should check out a really good um, discussion by Itzik Bengan. Uh, sorry if I got that wrong, in his uh, SQL Server 08 T-SQL Fundamentals book.